Hey, every pony! I have watched Make Your Mark Chapter 4, and I have some thoughts. I promise I will do a more detailed review of these episodes later, but I want to talk about all of them together while they're fresh on my mind. You may have noticed that I stopped making Chapter 2 reviews, and in case you hadn't guessed, the reason for that is that I don't really like Chapter 2 all that much, especially the two episodes that I didn't review. It was better than Chapter 1, and there were some episodes that I really liked, but overall it just wasn't good enough. I'm happy to say that Chapter 4 was good enough. There really wasn't any episode that I disliked, compared with Chapter 2 where I disliked about half of them. Everything is at a higher level of quality in Chapter 4. It seems like the G5 enthusiasts were right all along, and Make Your Mark really was just finding its footing. So let me talk about a few points. Chapter 4 is pleasant to watch. The soundtrack is really good. The animation definitely seems improved, at least to my untrained eyes. Both Bridal Woodstock and the Masquerade Ball featured some really nice outfits. These episodes did a much better job of balancing the Slice of Life episodes with the overarching narrative of G5, partly because they knew when to set down the overarching narrative and just focus on the story the episode was telling. But even the overarching narrative won me over. I was absolutely uninterested in the narrative of G5 because Misty and Opaline were flat and because Chapter 2 introduced some elements that really tore down the legacy of G4. By contrast, Chapter 4 makes rare use of G4, and when it does, it builds up G4 lore rather than tearing it down. The final episode of Chapter 2 really fell apart, as every pony was hoofed the idiot stick, but the final episode of Chapter 4 was intense, gripping, and centered on the characters rather than centered on them all being idiots. Even Misty and Opaline, who I complained about a lot in Chapter 2, won me over. Chapter 4 ran with Tell Your Tales' comically over-the-top interpretation of Opaline, and really, if we could just conveniently forget that she canonically tore apart everything the main six had worked to build, I would be all for it. In Chapter 2, I felt that Misty was one-dimensional, that her interactions with Opaline were all I'm abused, and her interactions with the main five were all I'm suspicious. By contrast, we see her becoming very dynamic with Opaline, teetering between wanting to please her or turn on her. We even see Opaline extend some kind words to Misty, forgive her when she messes up, and give her genuine praise when she succeeds. On the main five side of things, we see them finally being genuine friends, but we also see increased tension. I thought the scene where Zip backed Misty into a corner and forced a confession out of her was particularly well done. We also see Misty have internal conflict. I mean, it was the conflict we were all expecting, but I mean, really, the voice actor just delivered on these scenes where she questions who she is. So basically, everything was better than in Chapter 2. It finally feels like My Little Pony again. I can finally say that I like G5 again, that I'm excited for what comes next. But of course, we all know the real reason why I'm a fan of Chapter 4. Minty! Keep an eye out for my reviews of the individual episodes. Peace out.